Inside a hive in the mountains of Japan, young honeybees take care of the nest, while their queen performs her only job, laying enough eggs to keep the colony alive. Japanese honeybees are incredibly sensitive insects. Their keepers must work slowly, patiently, and with almost surgical precision. These bees store honey for winter, and they make just enough extra for humans to harvest. But that same rich honey comes with danger. Its scent can attract the most feared predator in these forests, the Japanese giant hornet. And out in the wild, the hornets are facing their own crisis. Their underground nest has grown monstrous. Workers have excavated over a ton of soil, packing thousands of bodies together so tightly that the colony risks overheating. Heat is a hornet's Achilles heel. To survive, workers fan their wings non-stop, creating natural air conditioning inside the nest. But as autumn arrives, prey becomes scarce, and that makes nearby bee colonies even more vulnerable. A hornet scout discovers the hive. The bees release an alarm pheromone, broadcasting danger through the colony. For a predator this powerful, most bees panic. But not Japanese honeybees. They do something no European honeybee can do. They invite the scout inside. They wait, completely still. The scout signals the location, and then the trap is sprung. Hundreds of bees swarm, forming a living sphere around the hornet. They vibrate their flight muscles, rapidly heating the air inside the bee ball. Japanese honeybees can survive temperatures up to approximately 48 degrees Celsius, a full 2 degrees Celsius higher than their enemy. Inside the sphere, the hornet overheats, until at 46 degrees Celsius, its body shuts down. This defense didn't appear overnight. Japanese honeybees evolved alongside giant hornets for millions of years, and in that arms race, they developed one of the most extraordinary survival strategies in the insect world. 